So this is something like about the fun stuff, fun part of the education. So what about the social life and your uh, time for engaging with other people and? Uh, um yeah uh, so there's um as as i mean basically in europe there's a lot of chance for like a social life and everything i will say the first year it's a bit difficult because uh, you you will be over, i mean it was my experience i was quite overwhelmed with the amount of courses in the first year because of the quarter system it's it's really exhausting i mean you have to you're always giving exams and you're always finishing homework and assignments so the first year it's a little hard Uh, second year when you start your thesis on all you can always get into doing several different activities there are associations there are study associations uh, i was the general secretary of my of the international student council of the tudel so it's a one year position and you get to organize all kinds of activities for international students you get to um, meet the executive board of the tudel which is basically the the apex body of the tudel the yeah. the the director magnificus the promoter the directors basically which we call in india over there they call us the director magnificus the chancellors so you get to have a discussion with them you get to tell them what problems the you know, the international students are facing or whether they want an activity or they want like a festival or something to be held um so that was quite fun and we arranged a lot of different activities i remember we had our first uh, so i was in i was one of the i was a general secretary and the rest of the people in my board were um all europeans so they had never they had no idea of like what holy was and i mean they knew that it's a festival of colors but they had never celebrated it so i wanted to have this big dinner celebration because i mean you uh it's a bit difficult to play it's very surprising but it's a bit difficult to play holy there in march because it's very 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 cold so uh-huh. nobody is outside so nobody wants to play so we in, we never have the holy celebrations in march the holy celebrations are always in may and uh-huh. the same thing is for diwali it's always one and a half months after and we had like things like that that i uh, we organized together and there are lots of sporting activities that you can do there are different sports associations that you can join there's also um, study associations of just um, your program so the electrical engineering program had a study association um things like that there's a lot of social life aspects that you can do but i would suggest you to always do that in the second year because the first year is harder to manage yeah i think uh, even like uh, another example uh, which is so solid actually uh, those people who are just in the level to go abroad and come to one night so i'm always encouraging after uh, my internship experience in uh, for few months in abroad in japan so it is like uh, uh studying abroad is not just for academics alone and when you get exposed to this kind of events with the fellow members it is a very vast learning i could say and also the treatment you get from fellow members or you treat your fellow members like every time there is some festival or some celebration you may uh, you may or may not celebrate in your home country sometimes but if you go abroad this will be there for sure that's true <laughs> home away from home that is uh, it will be there in always in academic field for higher studies so yeah. that is uh, like uh, In fact, my welcoming uh, uh, for the internship also it happened with one of this cultural event uh, from the Indian Association, uh, the local area. So they welcomed with a dinner. That is some for some other purpose, but they invited all together. Like uh, that's an advantage if you go uh, some other country, any place. That's very good to that situation in uh, Netherlands also. It is very nice. Yes. I even uh, there was an example I would like to go. Like one of my friend in uh, Japan uh, when I was there in Japan, I went for camping. So. we had casual chit chats with the friends so she was uh, studying in other country in europe the other friend she is a japanese so she is studying in europe so we asked like what is the, like just for curiosity what is what makes you to go abroad and study there so what is your interest at all she simply said like i want to explore and experience other culture in uh, some different country like was there are, uh, some more people i heard but uh, back then when i was there that time i didn't have a, uh, so much of ambitious or whatever i have to go abroad and experience i didn't know this so i don't know but after experiencing this uh, feedbacks and all even i experienced a couple of uh, campaigns and now you are saying again so it is always recommended if you have a uh, least thought one percent thought of going abroad explore it try for it till you get rls at least you, the exploring process yeah that is another point i'll be telling at the end of this talk i am talking to him also so the exploring process how the big advantage will be sharing at the end of the talk or maybe in different video catch up on that we'll move on further in this topic for now uh, 
yeah social life is pretty much available there is no doubt in that absolutely i agree you should always explore like where you go i mean you've traveled this far away from home you might as well look at what's happening around so true, true. so how about this uh, financial support like some people will think like we will uh, manage the self funded or will manage the part time jobs so whatever what about the availability of part time jobs and uh, is it possible to uh, support sustain your life there um part time jobs are available uh, the thing is uh, it is it is a little bit more expensive than um, the asian part of the world um especially in terms of rent so um rent is uh, so basically i think even if you do a part time job so if you do an internship or something you would be making around let's say 700 800 euros at the most about 1000 euros out of which for your rent you'll be paying 300 to 500 at least so it'll take at least around 40 to 50% of your uh, of your part time salary or part time fee whatever you get um it is sustainable because uh the most of um, amount of money that you usually spend is for rent and then the, of course there's no dorm system or anything so you decide how your lifestyle is you decide what you eat you decide what you cook you decide how you stay you decide how grand you want your lifestyle to be so um it is part time jobs are also available um it's I um if you want to do a part time job so most of the part time jobs that people do are usually within the university or um sometimes like in some companies or something but the thing is since delft delft is a is a very small city uh, but it's a it's a it's a university city so it's a very international city there are a lot of people from all around the world and everything but it's also a city which has a large it's very close to uh Uh, the Hague, which is one of the biggest uh, metropolitan cities of uh, the Netherlands, and Rotterdam, both. So there are a lot of old people who live there. So in that context, if you go to do a part-time job, like let's say in a restaurant or a cafe, which is very common there, it is better if you learn Dutch a little bit, at least like A1 level Dutch, which is not hard. Like honestly, it's not very hard. But like what I personally feel is, if if you go to a country which does not speak English, it is It's also a little bit respectful if you learn their language, and Definitely. it's not right. It's it's not it's not very difficult, but I mean it is difficult. I won't say it's not very difficult, but you can at least learn the basics. So it is sustainable. It, it's uh, nice, but the rent will take up a big chunk of your money. That is one thing for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think this language uh, topic uh, I'm recommending for the aspiring uh, bachelor students or even before bachelors, pre bachelor students. Uh, I don't know about everyone, but to my circle and to my friend circle we hardly know the importance of learning foreign language so we consider learning one or two languages that will be helping like this case like if you know some language that will be very much helpful uh, like this is one case there are many other examples we'll be sharing about the importance of language also that is really true i reviewed uh, with couple of friends even the learning also, there is different techniques if you really uh, enjoy this uh, process of learning so there is different uh, different techniques for uh, foreign languages but i think that is out of context for now <laughs> yeah and the financial support i think uh, by the way uh, if you get a scholarship from faculty what you have mentioned so what about the possibility of savings uh, some sort of money out of the uh, scholarship yeah so um, what exactly happens is when you get a faculty scholarship so uh, okay i'll talk about the fees in the sense uh, the fee structure of tutorial so it's easier for you to understand um now the fees the fees have doubled by the way so when i went in 2015 it was uh, 13000 euros a, m- a year um which was 26000 for two years now it has become 26000 for one year so the fee has actually doubled uh but uh, so what usually happens is the european students they get uh, they pay 100 euros per month that the fee for them is 100 euros per month for us the fee was 1000 euros per month so when you get a scholarship basically what happens is the university pays for your tuition fees they pay yeah. your entire tuition fee but of course uh if you if you're doing uh, so if you're working in a re- in a research lab like i was the scholarship that i got specifically was they were paying for my tuition fees which okay. was uh at instead of 1000 they made so they bring it to the european rate instead of the international rate so they pay 100 euros and that is the scholarship sort of they make it at the european rate and they they pay for it and apart from that i was getting about 300 400 euros 
as a uh, sort of a remuneration for working in the lab and uh, also uh, i forgot to mention one thing in tudor if you work in any student associations you also get money for that and uh, because and another thing uh, which is very interesting which i don't know if it's there in any other university which is, but it's there in tudor so as soon as you work for a, you know, in for an association which is officially uh, registered under the tudor um, of course the international student council is the biggest association which is registered under the tudor so if you're one of the board members one of the five board members and if you're in any other study association or anything first of all you get money for yeah. being a board member and working for the the association secondly you also get to extend your studies so you get oh. to extend your studies by uh, so we have this concept called ras ras is basically ras is a dutch word um, i i don't know the full form of it yet but it's a, it's it's ras and uh, they calculate how much time you spend in the study association or whichever association you are working for how many hours you spend and how that would have translated into your credits so they see how many months you would have lost for your studies if you work for that because you are actually expected to put in the same amount of work for your association as well so for that like usually for like a year's work in the international student association i got 4 months uh, which was paid by the university so in 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 addition to the scholarship i got 4 more months so that is very unique which is uh, i don't i did, don't know about any other university or any other country if they do that but it, it's there in tudor yes really nice really nice i heard about the benefits of working for the international uh, teams but i didn't know this kind of, this concept i think i am hearing for the first time yeah i don't think very new to me too <laughs> now people who if they know beforehand they could plan accordingly and uh, people who are active in extra curricular activities they you need not to get any negative comment about yourself <laughs> you can <laughs> in this kind of places very well exactly 